Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your microscope. So I just looked at a hematology slide under oil. Okay, and if you'll notice, I have um, the 40 uh, moved away. Okay, and the condenser is showing light between the oil 100, which is also known as a thousand because of the 10. Um, X that you get with the ocular. Um, so I've got it um, moved away. You could also have done it this way uh, in order to move it towards the 10. So even if you accidentally moved this through, it wouldn't touch the slide. So let me show you what I mean. If I had, if I had the slide still on there, you see how it's nowhere near touching the slide. So I had it on oil, okay, which is touching the slide. If I move it this way, uh-oh, the 40 is going to get in the oil. And that's what students do a lot, and we need you not to do that. We need you to turn it the other way, okay, so that even if you move it fully into place, the 10 is not going to be anywhere near the oil. Okay, so that's how we get the most common problem of having oil on our 40. Okay, so when, when we go to clean it, we're going to get lens paper, okay? Not a Kim White, okay? You do not use that, all right? That's going to end up scratching your lenses, and these are very um very easily to scratch and expensive to replace <laughs> so um we had a uh, fisher ran lens cleaner earlier and um it ends up being completely affected by the light if you let it sit out too long um and exposed to the light so what we did was we replaced it with um uh windex and that works just as well. So, okay, I've moved my 1,000 oil, okay, 100, whatever you want to say, um, my 100 oil objective over, and I'm spreading this, um, I'm spreading the solution onto the objective lens and I'm making sure to wipe it completely dry because if you don't wipe it completely dry you're going to end up with a um, a glue it turns into glue and then you can't see a darn thing okay so let me show you that again so we wiped before um, you didn't see me do it but I wiped the oil off first off the objective. Then I went and I put um, the cleaner, the lens cleaner on there. I'll perform it again. I cleaned it off like this. Make sure you get good in there, good and in there. And then using a dry portion of the lens paper, you dry it off. It has to be completely dry. Again, you'll get, um, you'll get what ends up becoming uh, glue and then it cements itself on there and then you're out of luck. So I'm going to clean the 42 because I'm not sure that that was cleaned properly and dry it off and that should be good. Okay, another common problem that I notice um, when um, students go and put the um, when students go and put the microscope away, they end up having had the condenser way up. This is where your condenser honestly should be. Okay, notice it is below the level of the stage, but I notice that students have it up like this, which is not good because if I have if I have any other lens objective, you know, it's going to come and knock there. Okay, so when we go to store it away, we could end up having problems. So first of all, you want to turn it off, okay, turn the light off, and you want to always move the condenser down. 
The condenser is very expensive as well, okay? It is well below the stage, all right? And um, no matter what happens with these objectives, they're not gonna hit the condenser, all right? Uh, we used to have a head that swiveled on the microscope, but we don't now. So uh, what we want to do is unplug it from the back. And when we go to pick it up, we're going to hold the arm and the base of the microscope so that we can then um, put it into the lower cabinets here. Okay, so notice you'll see there's already one in there right now. Make sure that you are careful not to hit the back wall of the cabinet. And when these doors close, a lot of times students are slamming them and it jams the microscope oculars into the back and damages the microscope. So make sure not to do that. All right, so, so you can even put it to the side like this. So you'll see that the door closing is not going to hit it, and then you can put your um, you can put your cord in there too. All right. So this is a better way than this, but as long as it doesn't get hit by the door, that's okay. All right. Thank you so much for watching and. Um, Subscribe if you like that video and I will see you next time.